I decided to replace my almost 15 years old soldering station with a modern one. I first considered purchasing a JBC iron and building an Arduino based station for it, which would yield a quite decent soldering station for under 100 euros. But then I found this TS100 soldering iron, which seems to be the new hipster iron among makers. So I purchased one for roughly 50 euros and was truly amazed. Unfortunately, it took only a few days until it broke. Its plastic body got really hot during soldering and it displayed sensor error and very high temperatures. Its heat regulation failed completely and it immediately started to heat up after I plugged it into the power supply. As you can see, it draws 2.4 amps without pressing any button and the tip is able to melt solder within a few seconds. The only way to prevent the tip from glowing red is pulling the plug. I contacted the Mini DSO support and they sent me a new TS100 for free within no more than two weeks. But the new one, well, it had the same problem from the beginning. The root of the problem is almost certainly a failing MOSFET. And the fix, well, replaced MOSFET. The display is on the opposite side of the PCB, so I decided to use solder wick instead of hot air. A typical failure mode for MOSFETs is a short from source to drain, which can easily be checked with a multimeter. Here's the pin layout of a typical SO8 P-channel MOSFET.
Here are some replacement MOSFETs in case you have trouble getting the original one. I paid roughly 5 euros for 5 MOSFETs. No current is drawn in standby mode, which is a good sign. And the tip voltage is around 4 volts, which is probably for temperature readout. And it works again, yeah! The buttons are working too, so I think we are fine. Time to install a custom firmware. Thanks for watching, I will now fix the other one.